Mr. T here with a tutorial on circles. This is the second of the conic shapes that we're studying in this unit and it's also the one you're probably most familiar with and it will be the easiest unit for you to master. Our formal definition of a circle is that it's a set of points that are in a plane that are equal distance from a center or a given point. That distance from the center to any point on the circle is called our radius and sort of an interesting trivia or fact is that if we're in trying to enclose an area our most cost-effective in terms of perimeter shape would be a circle so if you were trying to make a garden and fence it in if we were trying to save money making sort of a circular shape with our fence would be use the least amount of materials sometimes it's hard to build circles so we use rectangles but the circles could be efficient our standard form of the equation is shown here x squared plus y squared equals radius squared Now, since the circle is so small we're going to talk about translating circles at this point meaning having the center at places other than the origin the remainder of the conics we're going to do the translations at the end since they're a little bit more complex so if we have the center not at the origin our standard form is here now we've used this of subtracting h from x in a parentheses to translate other functions and the same can be done with the y so let's look at some examples here we have two problems where we're given the center and the radius and we want to write the equation so we just have to plug it into our template that we had on the previous page so I've shown here we have x minus h squared and y minus k squared and we can just simplify that by handling our negative negatives and we can square the 7. I'll show the graphs in a minute. Similar for the second problem you can see our uh, standard equation here. If we graph the top one we would place a point at our center, negative 4, 6, and to sketch a circle, even though my drawing here is not the best, it's hard with my tablet, we would, I start out by going 7 units, which is the radius in all four directions, and then draw the circle. Now remember we can't count 7 on this way, because on the diagonals, though that length across that block is not 1. You've got to eat. So if you're counting 7's, you've got to go horizontal or per uh, perpendicular. Vertical, I mean. Here's the graph for the second one. I used units here. Every block, every two blocks is 1. So to get our 1 quarter radius, we have the size that's shown here. This problem, we're given the equation, which we did on the last, and again, the same thing. It's fairly easy to extract the center. Remember, our template is x minus h, so we have to take the opposite of the number. So our center on this one will be negative 3 and positive 5, and a radius of the square root of 36, or 6. Here, the center is negative 6 and 0, and our radius is 8. So if we look at those... Again, here's our first one, so I'm putting it in the standard template, which is x minus something, so we have our center, and square root the 36 to get our radius, and again, we can sketch the graph. The graph of the second problem, and finding the center is shown here. Again, go from the center, in this case, 8 units, each block is 2, so 4 blocks, 4 blocks, four blocks, four blocks, and then try to sketch in your circle the best you can. And that's it. Circles are an easy thing, and good luck with the rest of the unit.